Hi guys, back once again for another video, and this time I'm talking about Lost in Space. Um, I want to apologise for the state of these videos, by the way, and uh, the way that they're coming out. Uh, at this moment in time, uh, I'm going through a bit of an illness. Uh, it's, a, it's a recurring illness. And um, I'm trying to get these videos out as best I can, but I'm just really feeling really shit and, and, and ill. Um... But I want to talk about Lost in Space because I just watched the first episode and uh, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the first episode. I thought the, uh, it had good production values. I thought it had a good looking uh, aesthetic to it. Um, I'm not so sold on the Millennium Falcon, otherwise known as the Jupiter 2. Uh, and that's the reason why it, it looks like the Millennium Falcon's cousin. Uh... I thought the story was a little bit odd because they, they, they do this writing trope thing whereby it's like we pick it up in episode 3, right? It's like they, they've written the first two episodes, ignore that stuff and let's go on to episode 3. And it, it, damn it, it's a, it, is a, it is a writing trope that does work and it did work for this episode as well, unfortunately, damn. Um, yeah, because it, 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 we picked it up, you know, the, I, I thought the opening was good where they, they're all sitting around playing cards and it's about to go into a crash. Uh, uh, that that was that was uh, quite a nice quite a nice way to start the show really. The, there was a bit of a high tension in the scene and, and and things like that, but we didn't know what exactly what was happening. Uh, I, I I I think it's with concerning the Robinson family. I, I'm not sure why all modern families on TV these days have to be dysfunctional. I, I don't get that. I don't get why you have to have a dysfunctional family for it to be interesting. Uh, um, and this dysfunctional family was a functioning dysfunctional family. I, I, I don't understand it. I, I don't I don't get that. Um, should we talk about the elephant in the room concerning the Robinsons as well? You know what I'm talking about. What the hell is Will Robinson blonde? His father's ginger, his mother's ginger, he's blonde. Hmm. Yeah, she'd be knocking boots, mate. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the only elephant in the room concerning the Robinsons. Um, no, I, I, I understand that there's a previous relationship and, and stuff like that going on. And uh, maybe even adoption, I, I, I don't know. But uh, it, it just... I think they throw an intrigue in there for just the sake of extra drama I suppose. Uh, I liked the introduction of the robot. I thought that was that was quite nice. Um, though we still don't know what's happening there. And uh, Dr. Smith who apparently isn't even a doctor. And I'm, it seems that they've written Dr. Smith in as a bit of a villain. And I don't, I don't know why that is. I, I know they've done that, the same sort of thing in the movie as well. That Doctor Smith is a is the villain. I don't recall Doctor Smith being the villain in the original show. A bit of a wanker, but not a villain. A knobhead, and self-centered, and you know, yeah, but a, a bad guy. No, I I, I don't I did, didn't don't remember that. Uh but yeah, okay, so it's a change to the character, plus they've also changed the gender, and gender swapping characters now, I, you know, I didn't care when when they gender swap most characters. Uh, it doesn't bother me, I don't, I don't care that much about it. So, but it, it seems like they're doing it just for the sake of doing it. You know, I'd, should Dr. Smith be a woman? I, I don't really care that she's a woman, uh, no. Um, I just, I just think it's a bit, eh, you're just doing it for the sake of it. As a talking point, which, you know, obviously I am talking about it, but, uh, I'm, it'll be quickly forgotten. I thought the production values were good, I thought the style, uh, style of the show looked good. Um, I don't know who designed this show, by the way, I have no idea. I'm gonna say that it looked very John Eves. Uh, that's, all, that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't know if John Eves had anything to do with the show. Um, it, it, but it did look somewhere between sort of 
John Eve's Ron Cobb. That that's that's uh, my feeling on it. Um, but it looked nice. It looked it, it looked pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, and, and the other thing that the show uh, did, particularly in the first episode, because uh, obviously I haven't seen the others yet, was that it kept throwing uh, these dramatic splashes in. You know, the ship's about to crash. People got trapped. The mother broke her leg. The it it, it, it just and that scene, by the way, that scene is the one that really got to me. Actually, that that's the one that really annoyed me, was the fact that they had uh, Judy saying, you know, you've got to do this operation on your mother, and I've never done it. And I I don't know how it's supposed to work really and truly. I've read something up on, on it, but you're gonna perform this operation and she's gonna be fine. Ah, oh, dear me. I did that 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 bit really sort of made me go, oh come on. You know, you you couldn't you you can't you can't have the adults be the smart ones. And it look I I, I get it, but they they have to watch what they're doing here because. They're gonna fall into the Wesley Crusher trap with these kids if they're not careful. If if the, these kids come across too smart, they they're gonna end up in in the whole Wesley Crusher camp with uh, all the other kids like that. But overall, um, I'm gonna say look, it looked great. Um, Vancouver looked amazing considering because uh, it looked like Vancouver, whatever planet they were on, it was Planet Vancouver. Um, but yeah, no, it looked good. It uh, uh, it looked better than what it did in the trailers, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. So yeah, that's what I thought of episode one of Lost in Space. I thought it could have moved on uh, a little bit quicker. An hour might have been too long, and uh, but I'm just hoping that it, it it picks up the pace as it goes. I think the level of drama of, of storytelling is to Netflix's usual standard, so I'm, I'm not seeing anything really bad here. You know, there, there are, oh, sorry, there are a couple of things um, in the show that I would have tweaked and changed, but overall I think, considering the source material, I think it's doing a bang-up job.